welcome back to the channel oh it's been so long it feels so good to be back i miss you guys i hope you all are doing great okay so yeah if this is your first time be sure to subscribe and if you are a returning thank you guys so much i'm just blowing you guys kisses right now so today's tutorial i actually wanted to come down come back with a bang because i've been away for a short while and i wanted to do something really close to home really close to my root and i'm sure all black people can relate so the look i'm doing today is kind of like a kalakuta queen stroke a kind of wakanda inspired makeup look you guys even saw like i went all out with my costume and all that I, I believe everybody should be familiar with wakanda yeah you know being that we are all citizens of wakanda as black people <laughs> but for the kalakuta queen kalakuta queens are basically dancers or backup singers of the famous fella Anikola Bokuti. For those of you who may not know, he's a Nigerian music legend. Over here in Nigeria, he's really big. He, make, he made Afro music popular and like since then, it lives on even long after his death. This is basically what the his backup singers and um, dancers, female dancers look like when they go on stage, you know, with the costume, with the face paint, with the beads, you know, they're heavily adorned and they look like queens so majestic because, you know, Africans were royalty. So I decided to like do a mashup of everything, Wakanda, Kalakuta, everything, just black power, black excellence, yeah. So um, it's a really simple look. The eye is a cut crease and I used them um, the Magic by Juvia's eyeshadow palette for that and also my sleek eyeshadow palette for the black and basic body stroke face paints for the dots that you guys can see over there. So I use the Milk of Magnesia as my primer and I'm using the Zikel foundation. This is my first time. It is a Nigerian brand so I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Guys, like I am just trying this foundation out for the first time and I am so impressed. Consistency is not too thick, it's just a regular medium consistency, but it has matte coverage and as much as it's not oily, it's, it's matte but it's not oily but it still feels like skin. You can still see that there's still a luminosity to it, like it doesn't dry out my skin. You know I use the, um, I use makeup magnesia to prime my face. Normally if the foundation was extremely matte, my face would be looking really dry right now but it still looks like skin. Like. And look at the coverage and it's really really has a very warm undertone to it so you can see that when i apply it on my skin it almost looks orangey but it's easily blendable but man i'm so impressed by this foundation because their first formula actually was a little bit too oily even when you use a very mattifying primer you find that it still comes off really oily so i wouldn't have recommended that one for for um, um oily skin people but i really love this Sincerely, and it's my exact, my exact um, shade. Like it's very difficult for me to find something that's my exact shade. Oftentimes, I always have to mix mix two foundations to get my shade, or I use something darker, then use them um, my highlighting to bring back some light into my face, or I use something lighter and use my contouring to darken the perimeters of my face. But this particular one, I think this foundation and the Mary Kay. Um, the Mary Kay um, foundation have been the two so far that have matched my my skin tone exactly and Zikel you guys thumbs up really So right now I'm resuming highlighting my face Using the LA girl pro conceal in fawn and chestnut that is chestnut first of all and I'll just use fawn to lighten my under eye, nose and chin to lighten it up a little bit yeah, that's the phone right there then I'll blend everything right in using a buffing brush lately I have I've come to realize that I find myself reaching more for my buffing brush even for highlight and contour instead of using a beauty blender what I do is when I use the buffing brush most times I will just use a beauty blender to go over it to remove any excess products not for the initial blending so I'm using another Zikel product this time around this is their face kit and I'm taking that light shade over there to set my highlights I find that this also works as good as using a setting powder what I'm using is what I'm doing right now is I'm using a wet beauty blender or rather a damp beauty blender to, for this process and I'm pressing it into my skin to 
So also back to the Zikel palette, I'm taking a darker shade to apply um, around the perimeters of my face. Yeah, I also forgot to mention, I actually received a goodie bag from Zikel. You know, they, I was giving this their products to review. I featured some of their products on my channel before. And this is the second time I'm being given some of their products to review and, you know, yeah. So I just <laughs> did this video featuring a lot of their stuff and I'm basically letting you guys know what I think about it. Their powder is big, basically. Like, the powder is awesome. The foundation was improved, you know. This one, this one that I use right now is a be much better formula than the last one. So this one is definitely an improvement and is a yes for me. So I'm smoking out my under eye with my the black shade from my Sleek palette. And now another Zik, um, Zikel palette right here. This has some powders, it has blush, it also has um, highlighters, that's glow. So I'm using the blush from there. And now that's their highlighter. Well, for the highlighter, I wasn't very impressed, I'm not going to lie. It's not as pigmented, like it's not giving me as much glow as I would like. But maybe if I had applied my setting spray before this process or something, it might have come off better. But you can see that it's barely there. So I think this is something they might have to improve on also. Then for my lipstick, I'm using the classic makeup 24 hours long lasting lip gloss in outer space. Then another classic um, lip gloss in the shade Tomato just for that line on the lip there. These are these are not Nigerian brand. It's very very drugstore, very affordable and you know, I actually enjoy using them apart from the fact that it can be very dry and flaky sometimes if you don't prime your lips properly yeah so now using my face paint I'm just drawing some markings on my face I was just basically going with the flow as the inspiration came just drawing whatever came to mind so that's what you guys can see there And now I'm going to be using my Black Opal Fine Wine Lip Gloss in Brilliant A. Brilliant A, yeah. That's a lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just using it like as my red face paint to also draw some markings on my face. So at this point I'm done and this is the finished look. All I did was just take care of my edges and I used my Ankara material, my Ankara fabric to just wrap my hair and I have my seashell sea earrings on and yeah. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Be sure to share. Give this video a thumbs up guys please. It really helps my ratings and subscribe if, if you have not. Don't leave it out subscribing guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!